thinking when you're, uh, when you find out that you're up 10 pounds? Oh, no. Nothing. I don't know what's it. She's up 10 pounds. I done wrong and I need to fix it. How many times can so you get wrong? So we had a goal to lose 25 pounds and we're up 10. Who's this handsome devil? We all know Tammy, a woman that is quite bigly. Tammy Slayton, we all know Amy. We all know the Thousand Pound Sisters. What we're starting to realize is that TLC is taking advantage of the situation, and I'm not. All right? I'm the one exposing it. That's what I'm gonna tell myself, <laughs> okay? I mean, that's what's happening, okay? In last week's episode of that meet TLC Thousand Pound People, Fat Folk videos, we felt a little bit bad for Tammy, and also we're kind of scared that she may have created an OnlyFans. Tammy Slayton says her other lips are beautiful and worth seeing. What does she mean by that? Which is kind of terrifying in and of itself, just in general. But it all turned out to be fake. TLC's the real bad guy here. So let's do it again this week. Tammy's been getting absolutely wild. All right, she's been feuding. She's been feuding. Season three has been full of ups and downs. Okay, and I'm fucking invested, dude. I'm so invested in this, it's bullshit. It's bullshit, I hate reality TV. I hate TLC. I care about Tammy. I care about Amy. I care about Chris. I love this family, dude. Chris is my favorite character by far. I know he's real, but he's still a character. I'm not sure exactly what she's doing. I'm she not even sure who that, she is. Uh, we're on vacation, we can splurge today. That's but that sister. It does kind of worry me. I've done been through everything oh. that she's going through oh, with yeah. bariatric surgery. Oh, that's right. That's their sister who got the surgery long ago and has lost the weight, kept it off, and is, quite frankly, kicking ass, taking names, and she's a sassy bitch, too. I tell you what. You know what's rude is you keep running your <laughs> Bitch, don't try me like that. She wants to talk to me like she's lost her mind. No. This girl don't play that. She's a snarky old woman. So, like, it does worry me that she's so early on eating the way that she does. Ain't con queso, ain't that cheese, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm dipping cheese in cheese. That's disgusting. Why are you You're digging in your <laughs> Because I have stuff in my pocket, okay? It's my what? pocket, excuse me. Wait, what the hell? She digging in what? What she did? Because I have stuff in my pocket, okay? She got a titty pocket? It's my What's pocket. What's that? Excuse me. She's angry. So, remember when we went and got the family photos? So, <laughs> this is all of us together. <laughs> She's such a good mom, dude. I love Amy so much, especially after the last one with that whole bug incident. You two dogged me for years for having bugs in my videos and stuff. I tried so hard what? not to show them. Where, where they just, TLC made it look like she had, she had bugs crawling on her walls literally while they were filming. She seems like a good mom who genuinely wants the best for her child and husband. I love Amy. She's awesome. I know you're not about to rub That's it a cute in my face, but I didn't go. I'm getting you. I'm like rubbing my face. I didn't get. She's so snarky, man. Don't start, please. Tammy was some type of way about oh, us looking Chris. at the pictures because it's the first time we got to see. All right, is it just me or is Crip <laughs> dripping today? Holy shit! Why is there a beaker behind him too? What is he doing, cooking meth? And I don't know if she just thought we was kind of rubbing good. it in that we went and she didn't. Because she threw a little tantrum. A little tantrum. But she wasn't happy about it. What's that beaker doing back there? A flask. Didn't stop reading that cheeseburger. <laughs> Had to throw in a little fat phobia, you <laughs> fat phobic dick. Chris, I'm the one who's fat phobic, all right? Me, I'm the one who's fat phobic. Or that's, that's what people say. I don't think I'm fat phobic, but whatever. In a wheelchair, how do you think... Does it help your mobility, your freedom, so to speak? I guess. I mean, I know it helps y'all out. Weeks ago, she couldn't even walk. It was a little difficult using the electric wheelchair. I yeah. don't know what the heck's going on. I don't know what they do. I've never used one. She got an EV, uh, Elon Musk special, zero to 60 in 20, 20 seconds. All right. And by 60, I mean 60 inches per hour. All right, that thing's fucking struggling with all that weight on it. What do you think now that you actually experienced driving it? I don't have any experience driving it. I just got in the damn thing. Leave me alone. She gets so well, salty, I mean, now man. Now that you, like, seen I how mean, easier it was. It's not easy. It is easy. Will you shut up? I mean, it can't I mean, be easy rolling you're around not keep 600 at me pounds. Like that. Everybody's bent over backwards. It's rude. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not even sure anyone at that table can bend over backwards. Like I can, I can bend over backwards. Watch this. I pay money for them if they could do that. I'd pay money to see that. Okay. No, what's rude is you keep running your 
Oh, no, it's not. Bitch, rude. don't You're... try me like that. Shut the f from once. Come on, every time I'm with the right one, you get Whoa! She's the one that's acting like a dummy. How about you just shut up for once? Why don't you get out that? This is that sibling. We don't bitch. Then. You oh. won't shut up. How Smack am I her. supposed to say you? Smack, start if smacking you each other. Talk. Just wait till these cameras ain't rolling. Oh, that's a threat. Blackmail. Blackmail. Take it out back. Take it out back. Take it out back. Start fighting. Film it though. Make sure the cameras are rolling. <laughs> Film that shit and upload it. I want to see it. Damn it. This is exciting. <laughs> Look, that person right there is really embarrassed. You can kiss my ass. Kiss my hairy ass, bitch. Hey, bitch. 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 She's indignant. She's indignant and she's insolent and she's childlike. That's what happens when you can't move, I feel like. You just become, you just hate yourself and you just can't, you can't get out of that funk. You know, that funk, and it's not a good funk, like the Bee Gees or uh, another funky band. It's a bad funk, like stinky, like funky, like stinky, like balls. Oh no, Tammy gained 10 more pounds. Tammy. I thought you lost 60. Today's my eight week weigh-in. When you I'm get not on sure it, the stand, just drop your is. arms. Yeah, I'm nervous. Let's do it. It is remarkable that she can stand and walk. When I got here, I weighed 689 pounds. That is insane. Dr. Smith wants me to lose 100 pounds while I'm here. And where does this tie into- I work into... so hard, and I just don't know if it's going to pay off. Where does this tie into where we are now with the with the post carbon dioxide poisoning? And she's all locked up. She's got the thing in her neck, right? Okay, so I'm gonna try to make this to where you kind of very. It's incredibly possible. sad. She has carbon dioxide poisoning because her body is experiencing respiratory insufficiency, which is a like a pathology that that occurs to people who are extremely morbidly obese for an extended period of time. Where is this? Is this a, over a year ago? Damn. 631.3. How do you feel about that? Okay. That's pretty good. That's a lot. That's it pretty impressive. Lot. That's awesome, dude. I'm down. Oh, look, her chair says believe pounds. on it. Honestly, I didn't think I could get that much off. Maybe you'll start believing That's in progress. yourself. That's progress. Well, I'm proud of you. Thank what does she weigh right now? How That's do you what feel I about know. it? We feel pretty good. Yeah, I mean, look it's hard it. work and it's paying off. How are you feeling? I can conquer the world. Aw. She seems so, like, different some days, right? Like, some days she's that ratchet-ass, Kentucky holler, just bitch sister. And then sometimes she's extremely happy. And it's all, I think it's just, it's gotta be TLC, right? They're just, they're playing with our, uh, our, our brains. They're playing with our, our harpsichords, right? Play harpsichord over that. <laughs> I want to try to get the rest of the way off on my own. That's nice. Tammy, are you sure that you're ready to go home on your own without support and face all the temptations when you get there by yourself? Yes. And I was supposed to lose 100 pounds, but 60 is a great start. That's true. That is I've a good, really good start. Enough. I've seen what to do. I just got to do it. Where, where's all this attitude been? Every other fucking clip I've seen. Man, this we live in a damn, this 1984. It's literally that meme where you where you turn the page, calendar 2022, and you turn the page, and underneath it says January 10th, 1984. January 13th, 1984, whatever day this is uploaded. And it's Tammy pulling that thing back. Big old Tammy arm up there. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying. If I was to order out, it'd be like one burger and not anything else. Yeah, just one burger. That's fine. You feel like when you go home, you're gonna, you think you're start to order out again? Don't eat a burger, though. So you're I not feel gonna... like I just get one burger mm -hmm. a day. That's... See, I worry about that part. If I just get one burger a day, I don't think I've ever eaten a hamburger for two days in a row. I feel that if Tammy would stay, we could continue giving her the tools to not order out, to continue True. just to stick to her diet a little bit longer. I believe in her. I worry about Tammy when there's not somebody there to help her make those good decisions. And there is nobody there. It, it seems like, and the, and the people who are there, one of them's got <laughs> bugs in her house. What is the cabin? Is that where they're, they're like forcing her to go in the cabin? I'm not in your face, I'm just Leave standing here alone. Uh oh, Tammy's throwing a tantrum. <laughs> Ooh, you better go get your damn sister. Uh oh. What are we gonna do about Tammy, guys? She is just afraid to come up the ramps, and I understand. She's so on that. vacation you know, or something? I'm not saying that she's wrong for feeling the way she feels. She's wrong for the way she talks to people. And I'm yeah, not going to go back true. out there and talk to her. It's just going to make the situation. Look at all those, uh, all those, all those cleanliness products. Look at this family on vacation. I feel like I'd fit right in with them. I'd be the one to wake up first, make them ugly eggs, you know, 
cook them a good breakfast. Maybe, you know, use three, four dozen eggs probably. I'm not sure how many eggs they eat. Seems like a lot, to be honest. Burger a day. They seem like a good bunch of folks. She does not know how to communicate with That's people true. properly. Well, we don't want to mess and with And then we react instead of short. like just keeping in the back of our mind that, you know, she's going through some right now. Yeah. She's being difficult. She's being we difficult. We know what's going to happen. Yeah, but I figured it'd take a day or two, you know? Do you all these people smoke as well? You act like you're the only one that's ever took care of her. Every single one of well, us in this room has. So, through the years. Bull that's true. She has gotten really mean through the years. I I'm just making a side, like a side note here. This is the reason human beings die so early in America is because this entire family, they all smoke and they're all morbidly obese. And they all have been morbidly obese at some point in their lives to the point where they need bariatric surgeries to not be morbidly obese. That's the reason why people die a lot. Okay. Even the CDC just put out something kind of funny recently saying comorbidity is not, you know, I don't, I don't mind. Spending. Whatever, you know, it's just not, it just, you know, be happy, but also be healthy for me. Do it for me. And I'm sure some of you don't like me, but do it for me anyways. All right, you mother I'm not taking her home tonight. I'm not playing, I'm not leaving. I don't wanna to leave either. Again. The whole point of getting the cabin and all of us staying here Film was for everybody to spend time together. True. I understand she was tired, you're scared. She grumpy, she, she don't wanna get out of the cabin. Chance. The she van, I mean. Try. It's dehumanizing the way that she just lays in that van though. I mean, that was like, I watched that on stream a couple weeks ago and it was like, What's your feelings Dodge? about the doctor's appointment, Tammy? What's your feelings about the doctor's appointment? <laughs> Okay, she's... But now he's dead. Don't know why I imagine she'd be sitting in a seat. Oh, it was very hard to not just laugh hysterically at it because it's such a goofy premise. I'm not laughing at Tammy. I'm laughing a little bit at her, you know. But but just a healthy amount. Not like a, I want to see her fail amount. Like a, oh my God, this is a hilarious situation that you could write about in a comedy movie. That type of laugh. The guilty pleasure laugh. I just don't understand. Like, I'm such a... <laughs> Little bitch boy. I'm such a, I weigh 145 pounds, man. And I'm seven foot three. Let's go. That does not look comfortable, man. She you has her own van, basically. Y'all need to leave me alone. Just what do you plan on doing tonight? Close up the door. I don't care what I do tonight. She's so going to sleep in a van? Sure. In the van Sis, down? Don't be Drive like that thing that. down by the leave river. Leave me alone. Well, come in for gay. I think everybody should just take turns slapping her. <laughs> That's what I'd do. Just, just take, take a little anger out, you know, just... Not a hard slap, really, like a love tap. Like a friendly, you're being dumb, you're being unreasonable tap. You're missing out on a lot just I by sitting give down. A Do it for the baby. I really don't feel good, and I didn't want to come. Okay, well, you Poor don't girl. feel good, so let's get in the house and it's get you in the bed. It's not going to change anything. It is going to help. Do you need an ambulance? What? Start y'all call an ambulance. What? You don't feel good. It doesn't mean I need an ambulance. Maybe she just has to poop. I'll let you know when they need a goddamn ambulance. Okay, I feel very attacked right now. I was just trying to help, you know. Also, they don't use this pattern for people who, you know, no, you can finish my sentence for me. I want all y'all to get out of my face. We just want you to go in. That's where I, I go. I don't want to go in. Whoa! She's mocking you. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Amy? Y'all don't have to watch me. You, we do though. Bye. We literally do. Literally do. If we just, if they left you in that van and all, everybody left, you would be dead within a couple days. Just saying. You would be dead within a few days. You are like a pet. You are a responsibility that people have to take care of. You should never let yourself get to that point because you're a burden. You're a freaking burden. I'm glad she doesn't have diapers and stuff though because that'd be this terrible. Is ridiculous. Tammy says she's gonna sleep in the car all night. She's gonna make that That's dumb crazy. decision when there's a whole freaking house with many beds. Comfortable she beds, to sleep too. In the car, let her. Yeah, Amy. I'm on Amy's side after this. I'd like to get Amy on. I'd like to get Amy on the show. You know, this, this show that I got working on here. 600 pound life guest that actually lost weight. These are such bullshit. How about you show Casey King? How about you show him? He really lost weight. What are you thinking when you're, uh, when you find out that you're up to? Oh, house? no. Nothing. I don't know what to She's up 10 pounds. I've done wrong and I need to fix it. How many times can so you do wrong? So we had a goal to lose 25 pounds. Come on, Tammy. And we're up 10. Who's this handsome devil? He looks like he makes corn videos on the internet. You know, you know what I'm saying? Not corn as in the crop, but take away the C and add a P. Corn videos. You know what I'm saying? That guy looks like he makes corn videos. He's a little hottie. And be honest, what's going through your head right now? Tell us, be honest, Tammy. I'm going to take a guess and 
think of what's going through her head right now. Hamburger. Well, that was really offensive, Tara. You should not have edited that in there. So we talked about some things to work on from last time. I gave you a food journal. Did you bring that with you today? Nope. Okay. Have you written anything in it? Ah. Uh, this guy right here is a fucking hero. Not only is he a doctor, but he's also a fat person doctor. This motherfucker saves more lives than any of us will in our entire life. In, in our entire lives. I should have said it like that the first time. We talked about doing 75 steps a day and going up by five. That's and these were the goals many. we did the visit That's before too. That's not that many. You can How do that. Those? You can walk over there and then back and get okay. 75. Doing them at all? None? Wow, that's just sad. And more than one burger a day, probably two. Come I on. want Tammy to get success and I want Tammy to get healthy. But me wanting Tammy to meet those goals is not going to get Tammy there. Tammy yeah. has to want it. It's got to be sad being in this guy's shoes. So how many times did you go to the therapist? I went once in person and we okay. tried a Zoom call. That's not good. Where I live, there's no signal. That's okay. so true. I tried the Zoom time three times. Okay. So you didn't set up another meeting. No. This is so frustrating. You've got to want What a this. good guy. And ultimately, that's what priorities are. If you care about something bad enough, it'll be a priority. And if you don't, it won't be a priority. It's really that simple. Couldn't have fucking said it better myself, man. 1,000 pound best friend. New sir. Are you kidding me? Tammy 2.0, are you shitsing my weenus? Kombucha. Oh, I'm not watching this. That's not, that. I'm not, I can't watch that. That's bull. There's no fucking way. <laughs>